Tonight's big story, dramatic new video showing a woman running out of her house in a towel just moments after calling 911 to report an armed intruder inside her home. The encounter ending with police killing the 29 year old suspect in the homeowner's backyard. And all of this unfolding in broad daylight. Team 12's Nyala Charles joins us with a closer look at the video, which may be hard for some of you to watch. Somebody's in my backyard with a gun. What's the address? Sorry, somebody... The petrifying moments unfolding near 43rd Avenue and Cactus in early February. A 29 year old woman in her home when an armed stranger enters through an unlocked door. She runs to her bedroom for safety. The woman who doesn't want to be identified telling 12 News. I'm just thankful to be alive. Escaping through a window, running to police in just a towel. Why is he in my house? <laughs> I saw him looking in and he opened the door and I yelled at him to get the <laughs> Phoenix police say their body cameras did not catch a clear view of the moment an officer shot suspect Anthony Greco. Do you have any weapon? Put the gun down! Put, Put the gun! The police report saying officer Warren Jackson shot Greco once after Greco went to the backyard and raised a firearm and pointed it at him. Wait, that means get walked to me like that. I'm like, put the gun, eh? Stop back. Stop back. Two more rounds. Two more, more officers shoot Greco with a stun gun after the report says he was still moving on the ground and believed to still have the handgun in his hand. Officers then rushing to handcuff him. They pronounce him dead after performing CPR. There's a lot of guilt, but like, I hate how it ended and I hate that it had it in that way for him. But at the same time, I'm like, you were in my house. It's a moment the woman in the house won't soon forget. He said he wasn't going to hurt me, but I'll leave. Officers say Grico arrived to the home in a stolen car and had a bottle of alcohol with him, but they still don't know why he ended up there. Meanwhile, the officer that shot him has been on the job for three years, and there's a criminal and internal investigation underway for the incident. In Phoenix, Nyla Charles, 12 News.